Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create, export, import and customise logos in Word. Before you start designing you might want to just come onto the internet and look for a little bit of inspiration and look at what top brands are doing for their logos. Are you generally keeping them quite simple or they're either using just an emblem or a shape or they're using a combination of shapes and words or they're just simply using words and their brand name. Now I will show you how to customize both of these, but one thing to bear in mind is these are relatively simple logos, so don't make your logo too complicated. Many of them are one color, particularly when you're talking about text, and quite a few of them are symmetrical. So something to bear in mind just for the design so through this process, you're going to learn a few vital things, and that is about the construction of your logo. So let's go to insert. We're going to go to shapes, click on the drop down, and we're going to click on the square and just click and draw out a square. Now you can hold down the shift key and that will give you a perfect square. If not, you will create a rectangle. Now, whenever you insert a shape, it will have a border line and a shape fill color. So to customize those, just select the shape, go to shape format, go to this icon here, which is the outline color, select no outline and the shape fill. Let's just turn that to black for the moment. Now with any shape, you can simply slot them together to form a particular shape that you want. So for example, if we rotate this square, we duplicate it. Easiest way to do that is to select this square, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag, and then deselect it, reselect one of them. Let's just change the size of this one, move that to here, copy and paste this one again. You can see we've got them both selected. So if I change one, it's going to change both. So deselect them both and reselect this one. And we're just going to move this one over and then we can move this one over here we can use our arrow keys to just move that one down so that it ties in with the edge of the bigger square and then we can move this square we're going to try and make the top of these all level so i'm going to reduce the size of this rectangle now one thing to bear in mind, this is not Photoshop, so it will not be perfect, but if you want to design your own logo, which can be a lot cheaper, then there is a way that you can do that. So let's just zoom out and we're just going to move this one up a bit. So when you zoom out, you can see sometimes that it rejigs the shapes, the vision of these shapes. And if I scroll back in, they can jump as well. So just make sure that they are lined up. Just keep checking them. Once you're happy with your logo, we can then group this together. So select one of the icons, go to shape format and go over to selection pane. Now this is a really useful pane because this gives you a list of all of the shapes that you've put in or text that you've put into your document. And the eye here will, if you click on it, will show you which shape you're referring to. You can switch them on and switch them back off again. But in terms of selecting everything, sometimes it's easier to select the top one, hold your shift key and select the bottom one and it will select everything. Alternatively, you can select one, hold down your command or control key and simply select the others. Then go to shape format go to group and select group and now you can see we've got group up here now this is one element so because we've constructed this with shapes we can now go ahead and save this out now just so that you understand the next process if I go to design and I go to page color and I turn the page color to gray you can see this logo will also work with a gray background now that's really important to know when I come to designing the next logo. So I'm just going to move this one over. I'm going to turn the page back to white and I'm going to go up and click on insert shapes. And this time it's a circle 
Again, I'm gonna hold down my Shift key to create a perfect circle. Because I'm now in shape format, I can go and get rid of that outline. And again, we're going to choose black to fill this logo. You can use any color from here if you want to. If you've got particular brand colors, you can use these colors as well, but I'm just gonna stick with black for the time being. Then I'm gonna copy and paste that circle, deselect it, reselect it, but this time I'm going to change the outline to white and then I'm going to change the weight of the outline to six. As I move over the top, you can see what's happened. We've now got an outline on that circle. I'm now gonna reduce the size of the circle and move it to the top here. Then I'm going to produce another one, deselect it, reselect this one. I'm gonna make this one smaller, but in doing so, and this is all personal preference, you can go back up to the outline, the weight, and you can reduce the size of that outline if you want to. And then you can zoom out, see what your logo looks like. You can zoom back in. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this circle here line up with this circle and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move that circle up. Now to make sure they're all perfectly lined up to the center, select them all go to shape format and go along to this align tool. This align tool is vital in logo construction because it means you can perfectly line everything up. So I'm gonna line everything up to the center, which means they're all lined up along this axis here and just deselect. Then we can zoom out to see if that's something that we're happy with. Now, it may not be the greatest design, but this is going to demonstrate one of the key problems with constructing logos in Word. If I go back to design and go to page color and select gray, now you can see the issue. So before we just wanted these circles almost in a way to cut them out and now we've got these circles that are exposed. So these logos work very well, these ideas where you can cut sections out of shapes on a white background work great if it's only a white background. But when you come to then place them onto a gray background or a different color background, that's where the problem lies. I will show you a fix to that, but not until I've showed you how to export it. So let's just move this down and I'm gonna show you how to do this with letters. So go to insert, text box, draw text box. I'm just gonna type U and I. I'm gonna make the word unique. I'm gonna select that text, go to home, Increase the font size by using this increase font size tool here. I am going to change the font to Aroni. And maybe increase that a little bit more. I only increase, increase the size of it because it makes it much easier to work with. So if I deselect this, you can see it's now in a white box with a black border. I'm going to get rid of both of those. Select it. Go to shape format. Go to the outline tool and select no outline. And go to the shape fill and select no fill. I'm just gonna double click inside, right click, and, and just go down to ignore. I'm gonna copy and paste this. So again, select it, alter option, click and drag. And then I'm just going to put in the next three letters. And as you can see, what this allows you to do, you can really play with the words. Now you can place them anywhere. You can just do the first letter, the last letter. You can put them on a separate line. You can put them above each other. You can play around with a dot at the top here. It's completely up to you. So you can th see things don't quite line up in the middle, but that's fine. We can use other techniques to solve those problems. We can insert a rectangle, click and drag out a rectangle. Go to shape format. Let's get rid of that outline and let's turn it black and we can reduce the size of it. And what I'm trying to do is just line it up with the E, just using my arrow keys. If you want to change the size of it and it's a bit clunky, make sure you select it and then just go up to width or height. I'm gonna to go to height and just reduce the height up here to 0.27, press enter, deselect. And now you can see we've got this line through here that would just join the whole thing together. 
Now, I'm not a designer, I'm just showing the techniques of how you can actually play around with these things. You can see this works on any background once again, but again, if you wanted to introduce one of these white elements that will actually take a section out, so let's introduce another rectangle, take out the outline and click on white, and then let's go to design, Let's make the page white again, deselect, and you can see that you can have lots of different effects using some white rectangles. They can be circles or shapes, any design you like, but you can move these around. So you can see how you can use white shapes to cut through your logo to create lots of different forms. But again, once you put this on a different color background, you can see what will happen. So I'm now going to show you how to export it and then show you how to get rid of these white sections. So first of all, just select everything by holding down your command or control key. If you struggle to select everything, use your selection pane over here and you can see a list of everything in your document. Once you've selected everything, go to shape format Go to group and select group. Now this is all one element. We can right click, go to save as picture. I'm saving it to my desktop and as picture one. The most important thing is you must save this as a PNG file. You have lots of options here, but you must save it as a PNG file, which means you'll have a transparent background around this logo. If not, it will save it as this gray background and click save. So now if I go to insert, pictures, picture from file, click on my picture and click insert. Once it's inserted, go to picture format, wrap text in front of text. And now you've got this logo here. Now the two differences between these is that if I right click on this now, and I try to enlarge it, you can see what happens to the circles. Whereas if I do this with this one, nothing distorts and it stays in the same dimensions. So that's why it's really key to export it and then re-import it, not just keep it as a group. You can do exactly the same with this one and export it. This one you don't need to do anything else to, you just simply import it. But this one, and of course this one, we need to get rid of these white elements. So all we need to do, once we've saved this original here, go onto the internet, and go to this website here. Now you don't need an email, you don't need to sign up for anything. This is literally drag and drop. If it wasn't, then I wouldn't be saying do this because I don't like the idea of people having to sign up to stuff and give emails out. So this one is brilliant. So you can see it literally says drop any files here. So just go and grab your file and click and drag it into this program. Don't worry, it looks complicated, but you've only got to do about three clicks on this. You need to go to this tool here, that's the magic wand. You need to click where it's white, and you can see there are some dotted lines surrounding all of the white section. Now, if I was to delete that white section now, I would get this very faint white line going all the way around this selection. So to prevent that from happening, you need to go to Select, Modify, Expand. Just expand by three pixels, that's it. Click OK. You can just see the selection has grown slightly to incorporate some of the black. And all you have to do is press Delete. That's it. So once you've pressed Delete, you can go to File, Export As, PNG, picture one, PNG, and click save. It saves now to your download, so let's close that down. So let's just delete this one. So I'm now going to go to insert, picture, picture from file, go to my downloads. You can see my picture is up here. Click on this picture and click insert. Once it's inserted, you might not be able to see it. There it is. You won't be able to move it. So once it's inserted, go to picture format, wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. 
Now you can move it around. You can now increase the size of it. You can see we've got no marks around the edge and that's because it was a pixel program that we used. But if you reduce the size of it, it looks absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna show you one more thing that's quite interesting for creating further logos. I'm just gonna ungroup that and get rid of these items here. So if we're looking at this circle here, let's just go back and I'll show you. You see the Pepsi icon here. You can see we've got this little shape in the middle, which is effectively a cutout. But you might think, well, how will I create that shape? Well, Word does have a fantastic tool. If we go to insert shapes, you can generally pick any shape you want. So let's go to square, click and drag. Go to shape format. Go to this icon here that says edit shape, click on the drop down and select edit points. Now here you'll have this red outline with these black markers. Every time you click on a back marker, these handles will appear. So if you click and drag on these handles, they will create curves. If you make sure they're perfectly aligned, it will create the perfect circle. And you can move the black markers wherever you like, creating unique shapes. You can keep moving those handles so they're aligned. Like this. Then we can go up, get rid of the outline and just turn that white, deselect. And once again, we have the same issue. If we go to design, page color, turn it white, you can see how that logo will look if it's on a white background. Here you can also make adjustments if you select that shape and you can make further adjustments. You can rotate it, you can expand it, and you can sort of change the shape of it if you want to. But again, that will only work on a white background or if you take out this white section in the way that I showed you earlier. If you want to change the color of these, just select them, go to shape format, go to shape fill, and then you can simply select any color you like according to your brand. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.